Welcome to Papillion Unscripted. I'm Michael Severe, the place to go to hear from people that truly help make Papillion feel like home. Joining us this week, exciting guest, very excited about this. He is the co-president of the Papillion Downtown Business Association, also the owner of Grayley's Creamery and Confections, Ryan Compton, joining us here. We appreciate your time. Thanks. Thank you. Thank I you. Know I know you're very busy. I know you're very busy. And this has been such a tough time for businesses. Um, obviously, you had COVID and we had shortages for workers and supply chain issues. How's it been for Grayley's in the heart of the downtown pavilion? Honestly, we have not been hurt at all. Um, I mean, I guess it, business slowed down mm -hmm. like it did for everybody else. Um, we're actually, our shortages are now, not during COVID. So finding workers um, has been very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I've got two full-time positions. I mean, I'm talking to people right now, might as well. I've got right. two full-time positions we've been looking for four months for wow. and can't get somebody to fill. Um, but, you know, the people of Papillion have been awesome, um, loyal as can be, and uh, have made sure that we stayed open, so we really appreciate them. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. What about, um, so what about the, the supply stuff? A lot of times there's little things that maybe aren't coming you know, in as fast. Sure, sure. Um, I mean, there are, we don't have supplies. Uh, the ones we like. But okay. that just gives us an opportunity to figure out, for me it's a puzzle. And so it's like, okay, let's, we can't get this kind of cup, let's figure out what kind of cup we can get to serve it in. Right. You know, it's not a matter of having to have the exact thing, it's, except when it comes to the food items. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, we, we do what we can and we just gotta be creative, so. What brought you to Nebraska? Um, good question. So um, we actually moved here as church planners um, to start a church. Um, we've actually started two since we've been here, um, but I came from a large church in Texas. Um, and so here, you know, being a church planner and, and working um, doesn't exactly pay the bills. And so um, we, uh, we decided we would, well, God just told me, basically said, hey, open an ice cream shop. My, my wife <laughs> thought I was insane. Yeah. Um, but then about six months later, we were looking at another location. She goes, that's where we're going to put the ice cream shop. I said, oh, okay, mm -hmm. you know, and so we just, that's what we, we just follow that and, and yeah. God has blessed it in so many ways. And so and we do a lot of, um, we have a lot of churches that come through. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of counseling. Um, I'm not a professional counselor, but I do a lot of family counseling and mm -hmm. teen counseling and all through there and get them to the right people. And so, you know, it's just a, ice cream is a great avenue for us to build community, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. As a church planner, how many places did you go to, to do that, to open churches around the country? Um, so in the United States, mm -hmm. this was the only place we came. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we lived in Thailand for years and worked um, in the mission field there. Um, and then I grew up overseas in Latin America. So I've, yeah, I've wow. done this for a while, but yeah. Yeah, so you do all of that, you do those kind of traveling growing up, but you set down stakes in Papillion, Nebraska. Yeah, why, this, is the why longest, here? this is the longest place we've ever lived. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, yeah, lived yeah, in Nebraska, 10 yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, well, when we moved from Texas, my wife wanted to move someplace that had four seasons. Good call. And so we didn't know that you get four seasons in a day here, <laughs> you know? That's true, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, but uh, we wanted to come someplace where, you know, there wasn't a church on every street corner. And we wanted to come a place where, uh, yeah, where there was great weather and there was great people. And so mm -hmm. um, this is where we landed, so. Yeah, I know you said that God told you ice cream, mm -hmm. but an old fashioned ice cream shop where you dress like this, where you, we feel like we're back in the 20s or 30s, why that? Am, am I dressed weird? <laughs> no, um, I wouldn't call it weird. So dapper. The building, the building that we're in, uh, is the old H. A. Sanders uh, store mm -hmm. uh, was the first general store in Papillion, and uh, so it was built around 1870, and our so we're the last old standing building. I mean everything else is 1905 or, or right. later. So, um, but when we started doing the renovations, we got the building, started doing the renovations, and we found the colors, and we found everything. Just the floor was immaculate from from when it was first opened. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the ceilings, the roof, and we, this is the niche, you know, this is what we're going to do. Um, plus, I've always loved history, and it really fits real well with Papillion and the railroad history here. And so, um, that's kind of where we, where we went, and um, plus, the way we make ice cream, we still do it old-fashioned, ice and spinning, and, you know, if somebody's bad, they can come and hand crank it, and mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, uh, so is it the rock salt and the cream yeah. and all that? To yeah, make we it look we, we do we do have that. We just upgraded to a new machine. Okay. Uh, that uh, 
makes ice cream, the old rock salt one that we still have, mm -hmm. uh, but it takes about an hour to make yeah. five gallons at a time. <laughs> the machine we have now makes it in eight minutes. Wow. So we can crank out a lot more ice cream, so. How many flavors, if you were gonna use all your recipes, how many flavors could you have in the shop? 532. Wow, and you have how Today. many? Today, well, 534, because I just created two more this week. Um, <laughs> so on any regular basis, we have 24. During mm -hmm. the winter, we have 18. Um, we can go up to 36. Uh, it depends on special events and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so, like bir our birthday coming up, you know, we'll be bringing out repentance this week, and we'll be bringing out, uh, which is chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, and dulce de leche, oh, wow. um, all mixed together. We'll mm -hmm. be bringing out crack, uh, not the. Drug, I got it. I get it. But mm -hmm. it, it's an ice cream we they call that uh, the loyals call crack, which is uh, it's caramel crack cookie. And oh. so it's a salty caramel with a cookie that we make and put in there. So we make everything from scratch, mm -hmm. um, the old-fashioned way. My grandma made it, you know, and so. Mm -hmm. So how did you get involved in the Downtown Business Association? Obviously, you became a downtown business, but why did you decide to get in the association? Well, I actually, um, I've sort of been involved for a long time. There used to be a coffee shop downtown called TriPoint Coffee, mm -hmm. um, and the owner was a friend of mine, and uh, he helped um, with getting the, the whole thing started. And so... Um, but then when he moved on, I saw a need. There, there was just a need to help pull people together mm -hmm. downtown and, and try to get a, a solid vision of what we want to do downtown. And uh, so that's, that's kind of what I did for the last three and a half years or so. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. How long have you been president or co-president? Uh, I've been co-president for, well, I've been with the DBA, I guess, for about six years. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, about three and a half have been the co-president. So. Mm -hmm. We've had stuff like uh, the sip and walk, and we have this Spook and Sip coming yes. up, right? Um, how have those helped in terms of bringing people who normally maybe wouldn't come to Papillion into Papillion to see the downtown? You know, it's amazing the outreach that we get from not only the Spook and Sips, but we also do family days. And there's, you know, there's all sorts Third of Third Fridays now? Third yeah. Fridays, um, you know, that, that the team came with, came up with. Uh, you know, we get people from all over. Um, you know, the website from Papillion helps. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we have got a new, our new website, and we've got... Uh, Facebook, we're trying to get all, all the folks tied into Facebook and other social media avenues. Yeah. Um, but like Sip and Walk, or the Spook and Sip, which is coming up, we'll have 550 tickets. Wow. And it'll sell out in a week or less. You know, we'll, it, so it's a lot of social media, a lot of uh, bringing people from all over, um, a lot of Omaha, a lot of Bellevue. Yeah. Um, so. I thought the Sip and Walk, because it was, it wasn't one of the first events after COVID, but it was kind of one of the first times we had something like that since COVID. And you could really see that the, just the joy in people's faces being yes, out. Yes, the Spook and Sip was our, I guess, was our very first one after COVID. Mm -hmm. um, and then to come this past one right in the spring. Yeah. Um, the line from the Polish house was all the way down the street <laughs> back to Washington. That Avenue. was that was our, we had, we changed how we did registration mm -hmm. and that, um, we fixed it for this year. Okay. Uh, for this next one <laughs> yeah. coming up, uh, so it's all electronic and all now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But yeah, that's that's why that line was there. But uh, the. But it was uh, impressive. But yeah, it was it was good to see and and yeah. uh, a lot of people excited and and just mm -hmm. coming and getting into businesses they've never seen before. And uh, I think one of my favorite things to hear is I never knew this was here. Right. I never knew this was here. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, we still hear that even at the ice cream shop every day. People come down and go. Oh, I didn't know there was ice cream down here. I'm like, yeah, there is. So, yeah. yeah. What's missing from downtown? What do you think we need uh, down there to, to help out? More restaurants. Yeah. Um, Destination restaurants. People come to this place to go to this restaurant. Well, that's me. But yeah. no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you yours. come down. Um, we, we've got Sauced now. Yeah. Uh, she's making a great mark mm -hmm. uh, here. And um, But a couple more restaurants. I would love to see us. I mean, personally, I mean, this is not speaking for the DBA. I'd love to see us bring back some of the old-fashioned, like, I know it's not possible to bring back wood sidewalks, but find a way to kind of incorporate some of that older. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got the new light down there, yeah. uh, which is good and bad, I guess. I mean, people, I hear comments both, good and bad. Um, but I think that'll help slow some traffic down. Yeah, I think um, on busy nights, too, when you have yeah, those events. When people, yeah, yeah, when people start down. using it. Yeah. I haven't seen people use it much lately, but yeah. uh, uh, so... Um, yeah, I, restaurants um, would be good. Uh, more events downtown. I'd love to see. I mean, we've got the car show that Brownies and, and us do, right. uh, which is kind of fun. But more outside events, street dances, 
Um, the First Street Plaza is a great little area oh, is, to have a lot it? of events in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so finding ways to just kind of bring people downtown and, mm -hmm. and let them see it's a great place for families to hang out. Um, yeah. You know, that's that's the other thing is more family friendly businesses. Mm -hmm. um, not that some of the places, the bars are great. They bring down a great clientele and some really nice people. Mm -hmm. But some others that are a little more family friendly would, would be helpful too. So Yeah. Um, in terms, and I always ask this question of everyone. Is there something in the area, in Papillion, that you think needs to be highlighted more? We try to highlight as much as we can here at Papio Vision, but there's a lot going on. There's a lot of things to see. Is there something that, in these last 10 years since you've been here, that you think needs to be highlighted more? That's a good question. Um, I think you guys do a really good job of, of highlighting. And there's, so, like you said, there's so much new stuff coming out also at Constantly. the same time. And we're always growing. Mm -hmm. um, and. and we're doing a good job highlighting downtown. I think it needs to be a reminder, though, because as we're growing outwards, mm -hmm. um, it's easy to look at all the big businesses that are coming in and to go, on, oh, we need to put our attention there and what what will bring them in instead of what makes Papillion special. You know, how many years have we won best place to raise a family? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if we forget who we are as a city, um, then, then we're going to forget what makes us special. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you mentioned you have a birthday coming up. The business does. Yes, we'll yeah. be four. We're only four years this yeah. year, so it's not a big birthday. But you know, for us, hey, when you're four years old, that's a huge birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my four-year-olds. <laughs> that was a very, was a very big birthday for you. Anything special planned? Uh, this year we're kind of quiet. Um, like I said, we're short-staffed, and so I can't pull out all the stops like we will mm -hmm. uh, for our fifth year. But uh, so we are bringing out some old favorites, old nice. favorite ice creams, and um, yeah, nothing, nothing huge this year. Yeah. We're trying to get ready for next year. For so. the fifth one. For the fifth one. Yeah. Right. Last thing, has it worked out like you thought it would? No, it's worked out better. Okay. I couldn't have even imagined. Um, when I started, we, we, we originally thought that we would have um, four, my, my, my two kids, my wife and I, and that's who would run the ice cream shop. Mm -hmm. Thought it would be a little small ice cream shop, no big deal. Right. Um, God's just continually blessed us. Uh, this summer we have 30 employees. Um, wow. And, uh, and, and that was still short-staffed. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, so we're, we're constantly growing. We're, we're looking at opening up um, a new location soon or trying to build a new location. Really? Um, and I got to find the place to build it. But, um, yeah, we need a kitchen that's bigger than what we have. So we're just, God's doing some awesome stuff, and we're just on for the ride. So, like to keep it in Sarpy County, is that a goal at all, or does it matter where you where you go? Um, we are looking at places in Sarpy County. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so we're looking at Sarpy County, but I don't know when it grows. You know. Sure. Um, I don't want to be a chain. That's not what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, so. Awesome. Brian, it was awesome. Appreciate it. It's nice meeting you, you, so you and much. talking and a uh, great conversation. Thank you yeah. very much. Thanks. Join us again next time when we again speak to someone who helps make Papillion feel like home.